In this example, um, guys, we have t as a vector, which is negative 1. So you guys can notice that these are in component form. And then we have w as a vector, 3 comma 1. All right, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to find the resultant vector, um, which is the difference of those two vectors, as well as sketch the vectors with the resultant vectors. So you guys can see we have vector addition and scalar multiple up there. Um, and basically, you notice that we have a scalar. So the important thing here is we can just write in our vectors here. So we could say t is negative 1, negative 2. And then that's going to be minus 3 times w, which is 3 comma 1. Okay, now what I prefer to do in this case is I prefer to rewrite things in terms of addition. So therefore, I'm going to rewrite this as negative 1, negative 2, plus a negative 3 times 3 comma 1. Because you guys are okay with subtraction, the same thing as adding a negative, right? Same thing? Okay. So now I'm going to distribute that. So I get negative 1, negative 2, plus negative 9 comma negative 3. And now that we have the addition here, all we simply need to do is, when we're adding, is just add the components. Oops. Just go ahead and add the first components and then add the second components. So therefore, this is really a negative 10, negative 5. OK, so that's the resultant vector. Now, how does this look on a graph? Well. Let's go ahead and, uh, did I write the other way? My bad. Move that around the other way. Let's go ahead and graph t. t is negative 1, 2. Oop, negative 2. Yes? Now let's just go ahead and graph w and then represent what 3w does. So, three, so w, in this case, is going to be a 3, 1. OK, but notice, guys, when I multiply by negative, what does that do? That reflects it, right, about the and the origin, the x and the y axis, right? Which is kind of similar to what type of functions? Odd functions, yeah, maybe. All right, so therefore, if I'm going to do w or negative w, that's 1, 2, 3, down 1. So this would be negative w. And then what happens when I do it three times? That takes me to a negative 9, 3. So that's like it multiplied by 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then that's going to be down 1, 2, 3. So you guys can see, which is negative 9w. So you guys see how that just got like tripled, right? There's like just got stacked on one on top of each other. What? Yes. Oh, I don't know why I wrote 9. Oh, because I was thinking then component 4. All right, now again, we need to figure out what the resultant vector is. So the resultant vector we know is negative 10, negative 5, right? So we can just go ahead and graph that, and that's fine. But one thing I wanted to show you is how do we get to that resultant vector without doing the addition? Because what if we don't understand the addition? What if we don't have all the information? If we just needed to add these vectors, we do what we call the tail to end method. So when you guys are graphing a vector, here is the tail, here is the head. So all I would need you guys to do is just take the tail and the head of one of the vectors and put it to the other vector. So this is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we need to go take this down. We're going to go down 2 over 1. This is supposed to be at down um, down 3. So from here, I'm going to go down 2 and then to the left one. No, 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 no. You guys need to be looking up here. So basically, all I'm doing is I'm taking the t vector and I'm transforming it at the end, right? So now, to write the component form of this vector, 
you guys can see this one is t minus 3w. Sometimes we also just call it the vector r, which is the resultant vector. And again, if you guys want to also check this, I don't know what you're doing. We still have three problems you need to do. So anyways, you're starting at 0, 0. And then does this vector end at negative 10, 5? Graphing negative 10 and then 5. But I want you guys to see how this vector got composed, which is basically just the sum of these two vectors, right? So therefore, you can take out your sheet of paper. And we have three vectors that I'd like you guys to go ahead and do. Or that's your paper you're going to work on. OK, great. 